Alright, hello guys. Today I'm going to be bringing you a hurricane season update. A lot of this comes from Noah, but also a lot of it comes from model data. And there's a lot of interesting things in this video that are pretty surprising. Anyway guys, I hope you really enjoy this video, and I hope you do subscribe if you do like weather related content as well. And also check out the links in the description where you can check out my social medias. Anyway, let's get right into it. Here's the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season outlook by Noah, and this was updated on August 8th. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. We've only had two named storms to this point, and we're already heading towards the peak. We're in an area where there should be some activity, but there is not yet activity. Usually before August 10th, there will be you know a lot of tropical activity, more than what we've had. So we've had a below average amount of activity to this point, but they're still calling for a good chance at above normal amount of named storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes. So that raises the question, how active are they expecting it to get? And, and the, the answer is they must think it's going to get very active at some point coming up. Whether that be later in August or in September, they think that there will be a lot of activity at some point when this season peaks. Now, you can see here that only two named storms, again, Andrea and Barry, have been taken off the list. And they expect a lot of these names to be taken. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how many storms we do get this year. Now, looking at our sea surface temperatures, we do have a La Nina developing here. You can see a lot of those blues and greens in the Enzo region or El Nino region, which means we will be seeing a La Nina conditions at least for right now, which usually leads to above average hurricane activity in the Atlantic. So that is kind of a bad sign for us as of right now. Also, you can see that the Atlantic is very, very warm. The only area that's not warm is the main development region, which should hinder things a little bit, having a little bit of those blues there where hurricanes like to start to develop, but it's only a little bit below average, so it shouldn't really hinder things too much. But once they get into the Gulf, once they get towards you know Puerto Rico, you can see all of those yellows and reds, they will start to have an above average chance at developing just because of those warmer sea surface temperatures, which should help them develop a lot. Now, here's your ECMWF probability of tropical depression product. And you can see this is the only, only real chance at tropical activity that I can see on this in the entire run. So this is August 19th. I see a little bit of a chance there right off the coast of Africa for something to start developing, but this is the only one I see on this entire model run. This doesn't mean that nothing's going to develop, but through, you know, well into August 20th, this is the only chance at any sort of tropical development I see. So we're going to be approaching the peak of hurricane season and have hardly any development. So and Noah's still calling for an above average hurricane season, which is just extraordinary. And I really am curious to see what plays out here over the next couple of months. Now, looking at our vorticity here, there is a chance for tropical activity on the ECMWF model. Again, that was the ensemble model, so it's different. This is just the normal European model. And you can see that there is some sort of, if you look right there near Houston, Texas, or it might be a little bit away from Houston, Texas, but still on the coast of Texas, you can see there is some vorticity where you see that red and uh, it kind of, you can kind of tell it's swirling a little bit. That's where we see some sort of tropical activity on uh, the 23rd of August. Over the first few days before this, it developed kind of uh, right off the coast of Mexico and made its way. So that's what we would see happen here. I'm not saying this is going to happen as this is 228 hours out, but there is some activity being shown by the European model. And also the GFS model has this same uh, little depression or storm developing or even just invest, but it has it hitting Louisiana. But both of them have it developing in the Gulf and then making its way and impacting the United States around the 21st through the 24th time frame. So we'll have to see what happens with this one. But it is interesting to see both major models showing some sort of tropical activity like this in the Gulf. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really found this tropical or hurricane season outlook or update really useful. And I hope to see you guys in the future tropical updates as we actually have some storms in the Atlantic. As I 
really am excited to be bringing a lot of those videos to you guys. Not that I'm excited for hurricanes to hit people, but I am excited to be bringing more content and keeping people aware of the dangerous situations coming their way. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Have a great uh, couple of months as we endure this hurricane season. Thanks for watching.